Hi, and welcome to Happy Planned Homeschool. My name is Tanya, and I'm a homeschooling mom to four beautiful kids ranging from three to nine. But today we're gonna to talk about my eight-year-old who is going into the third grade. He's our only boy, and y'all, this kid loves art. And I hate to admit, he's, I don't hate to admit, he is super good. I love to brag about him. And you'll see how um, he also is just the kid who is all boy and all art. So his curriculum is a little bit less because I do allow him to have that freedom. I want him to explore. I want him to be him. And so he is just now starting to his first IEW program this year. He is, um, doesn't have as many read alouds as my oldest. One, because he's younger, but two, because he does so much extra when it comes to learning how to draw and tinkering and science projects all on his own, that I want to allow that freedom and that space for him. So let's turn the camera around and I'll get into showing you what we've picked out for my third grade son this school year for 2020-2021. Here is a quick overview of what my son will be doing this year. I am so excited, y'all. This year I have his reading stack here of just all of his read alouds, not read alouds, excuse me, all of his independent readers. How we do this in our house is that they get to pick a book um, and then sometimes I have a companion, which you'll see at the first book he chose. Um, and sometimes I don't. This is a cute little new series we have this year. Um, as well as there's a couple books that we'll be doing a book club with. The first book he picked this year is Stone Fox. And I just ordered or downloaded this from Teachers Paid Teachers. I absolutely love it. It is just the greatest little, just enough. So like he reads the first chapter and I have him do the questions. And then the next day he will do the vocabulary along with what he thinks about it. And then the next day he'll read the chapter, answer the questions, then he'll do this the next day. So ideally he should be doing two chapters a week. Um, we've only done it for one week though, and so we're a little behind, but we'll see if we can keep up on that pace. I'm very excited. He's loving this book thus far too. Moving on to writing. We have started this, we started this over the summer and I'm kind of going through it with him. I grabbed the teacher's manual, but he will be listening to Andrew Pudewa um, and doing this program from IEW this year. And we'll do this in the afternoon. My homeschool schedule is coming. So you'll be able to see the time when we do that. Him and his sister are really enjoying this from, also from IEW and doing some cursive. They truly do this on their own time. They wanted to do this. It's not something I'm making my kids do, so they have that. Spelling program that I fell in love with last year is from Jack Chris Publishing, Soaring into Spelling, and he is pretty close. I think there's 36, so he's more than halfway done with this curriculum, and then we'll move on to level two when he is. For math, he is doing teaching textbooks, math three, and I have this from when my daughter used it, and it's just a CD form. So we have that, and then he'll move on to four. He is about halfway through that right now. He is working through this Architect Academy. We started this over the summer, and he loves it. Again, it's just something he does on his own time, along with how to draw your own comics. And y'all, he does not follow this like page by page. He just picks a setting and goes for it. And I just absolutely love it. These two activities are something that he can basically do on his own. And when he is waiting for mom and I'm not available to do anything with him, he works on this. Outside of school, when they have quiet time, he's allowed to work on this. This is something that is his passion. He has picked it out. He loves it. So he will be working on those on his own time. 
you saw this in my last video from my kinder this is the astronaut academy book by osborne books and more we'll be using this starting in january february time and then beginning of the year we will be doing this body book by scholastic as well as he has his god's amazing design from last year about his body that we have gone through at least half of i have that nature book up there just to remind me we are all doing that this year as well and that's about it y'all that's what he's doing this school year very light very sweet um that way he just has his time to tinker because he is my tinker kid i would love to know if you guys do nature studies or what you guys are doing for science this year or even just what you do for your kids to keep them busy when you're working with another kid let me know down below in the comments and we'll catch it in the next one bye friends